The tea is getting hotter in this University of Cooking cooking school. Let's see what we're brewing up next. I told you to save it for after class. Bzz, bzz. You think I wanted to be thrown from a plane strapped to a stranger? Miriam and Clank appear to be arguing, but you still haven't learned to speak Clank's language of mechanical noises. That's a whir, by the way. But no, you had to show off to your cool kid friends, Jeff and Joan, J and J, forever. Interesting. Watch us form a triangle in midair as we descend. Triangles are the strongest shape, don't you know? Uh-oh. Yeah, well, that doesn't make it a great date. <laughs> Beep. Then take Jeff and Joan with you. You can all hold hands as you pedal down the mountain or a cliff for all I care. This is so sad. Beep. Clank begins to shudder. Steam pours out of the gaps in his panels, and then a loud ding stops him in his tracks. Beep. Bzz. Oh, is he broken? No amount of seasoning is going to make me want to eat that, Clank. Oh, Clank burps out a completely deep fried sneaker. Considering that he himself has wheels, not feet, it's not entirely clear where it came from. Oh my gosh. In terms of deep fried footwear, I guess it looks okay. <laughs> That's how he cooks? I thought he died. <laughs> Clank slowly rolls out of the room to be alone with his shoe. It is Wally. Everyone tries to pretend like they didn't see that entire thing go down. Nothing like a loud public breakup to cast a pal over the final day of school. Well, that was unfortunate. But we mustn't be distracted from what lies ahead. The final competition showdown challenge exam trademark. I'm still working on the title, but I think you get it. Test time approaches to see you all in the arena. But before you can think about your upcoming competition, there's a very beautiful soul, uh, soul nearby in need of a pep talk. Pop? Oh, I mean Miriam. I 100% was gonna say Miriam. Hey Miriam, are you okay? Okay, I'm so mad I could smash a tiny mug, spilling several droplets of hot cocoa all over the floor. How could he embarrass me in class like that, in front of everyone? Her tiny cocoa is a delicious treasure, so you know that this breakup is no joke, even if the source of her frustration is such a silly boy. I know that you know this, but I'm going to say it out loud. You don't need anyone. Me and you, we're going to cruise through this final test and hit the carpool lane to Success City. Miriam brightens up, imagining the wind rushing through her short bangs that she cut herself. <laughs> but she hesitates to embrace the feeling all the way. <laughs> You're not going to saddle up on Colonel Sandals' stallion and ride off into the sunset without me. Of course not. Well, maybe sort of, but <laughs> I'm sure there's a pony out there with your name on it and a ranch big enough for both of us and whoever else we want to bring along. And maybe Colonel. If it's not Pop or Clank or anyone else you meet today, tomorrow or this whole year, so what? You're a special person who shouldn't settle for the first someone to show a little interest anyhow. Miriam gives you a big hug and wipes tears from her cheeks. That was really well written. Like, I'm impressed with that one. I should really review my menu for today. I'm going to make a very special stoop. And I bet that Professor Doc is gonna love it up. While you were pep-talking Miriam, you completely missed lunch. But that's okay, because you had a better idea of how to spend the time before your exam. You've decided to head to the arena early to practice a dish. This is it, the location of your final challenge. A test of will, a test of courage, a test of talent. Are there gonna be cherry blossoms? Hmm and a chance to beat the pants off of Van Van, the supposed man-man, and his eviler counterpart, Ashley. As planned, you begin to run through a quick test of a recipe you've been working on. Diesel's famous chicken pot pie. Uh-oh. I bet he's gonna make a pot pie too. After practicing for months, making this dish, this dish comes second nature to you, and you're able to quickly get a fresh pot pie in the oven. But as soon as you do, 
Your cram session is interrupted by Colonel Sanders' cherry blossom leaves. <laughs> that can't be sanitary. <laughs> but it is very romantic making. Diesel, what are you doing here? There's still time before the final exam. Oh, just taking it all in. I'm big into visualizing success. I'm looking at my station and picturing victory. The pot pie has begun to bake, and the smell is slowly filling the space around you. Hmm. Visualizing, huh? That's too bad. I was hoping you were here cooking something delicious. Nice. You'd usually, yeah, you'd usually happily share your food with anyone who is hungry, but the last time you let Colonel Sanders get to your head, it cost you a cook-off. You decide that it's time to put your cooking above your romantic desires. But that decision gets hard to stick to when the oven timer goes off behind you. I'm gonna fess up. Look at that smile! Come on! Oh, you couldn't see it. Because <laughs> my camera. I can't click out because then it goes away. Has his face been hidden this whole time? No, I think you could see him. Anyway, he's got a cute smile. <laughs> I'm doing a little bit more than visualizing. I know, my nose can smell a pot pie from a hundred yards. That's an, oddly specific, that's an oddly specific distance, but you'd expect nothing less from such an oddly specific man. You knew it was a pot pie just from the smell? Not just a pot pie, but a chicken pot pie with all butter crust. And my nose is telling me something else. Oh no, is it burning? Haha, <laughs> no, I can smell that it was made with a heaping helping of TLC. But it'll probably start burning any second if you don't pull it out. The moment of truth! <gasps> wow! I need that anime sound effect. <laughs> <gasps> it's the best pot pie I've ever tasted! I've always loved country cooking, and I could eat this all day. There's no time left. The final showdown is about to begin! Sprinkles lays down the ground rules. There are no rules! That is, except to cook with everything you've got. <laughs> you step up for the cook-off of a lifetime. You decide that mac and cheese put the put plus the pot pie you've been practicing are just the dishes that'll push you over the edge to victory. Meanwhile, both Van Van and Ashley are preparing wildly elaborate dishes for their usual over-the-top selves. Miriam has her giant magnifying glass and several sets of tweezers. She's definitely prepared to go big, go in small. Colonel Sanders seems to be harnessing his 11 herbs and spices, but he's trying to find a way to improve on something perfect. His original recipe, fried chicken. Original recipe, fried chicken. Okay, yeah. The intensity in the room starts at, at, starts at a full 10 out of 10. I'm pretty sure that one's a typo and not part of the story, but we'll see. Starts at a full t 10 out of 10 with a frenzy of action. Everyone is calling out really cool special cooking moves as they prepare their food. Wow, this is getting serious. Colonel Sanders batters his chicken as it levitates through the air. Egg wash! Miriam furiously injects ingredients into an itty bitty pot of broth. Best friend, Faster Blaster! I think best friend best ba baster? Best friend baster, but one of those. Van Van flexes his pectorals as he chops open a sea urchin. Let's rock and roid! <laughs> Ashley scoops her pastries off the tray with lightning speed. Shallow personality spatula! <laughs> That's pretty great. Even Clank gets in on it. Five dough pressure point chicken cooking technique! I think that's a real thing. Wait, when did Clank learn to speak English? <gasps> it's a singularity, as was foretold. We mustn't let it happen, or the appliance uprising will take us all! That was Van Van. self destruct Van Van quickly unplugs Clank and rolls him out the back door of the arena. <laughs> as you franked Frantically prepare your dish, you notice Ashley has her spell book out. Is she going to use some dark magic to turn the tide? You've got a book of your own, and you're desperate not to see her win another battle. Should you take this opportunity to fight magic with magic, even if it's almost certainly 
evil magic? Hell no! Remember that one quote that's like, doing anything the easy way is hard after all. Something I don't remember the quote apparently. But it's something like that, so we're gonna do it the hard way. <laughs> Who needs magic when you've got passion? I'm going to do it the hard way. Colonel Sanders sees that you've chosen to win on your own terms, and he gives you a subtle wink from across the room. Did he, did he know my what I was thinking? Hmm. I believe in you, Diesel. Ah, that's so sweet. Miriam notices too. Aww. And I've always believed in you, Diesel, since we were little kids, because I'm your best friend forever. You turn to notice that Miriam is at your station, cheering for you. Why isn't she at her station? Miriam, what about your dish? If you're here cheering, who is cooking? Tiny food, short cook time. <laughs> I'm actually already done, so I thought I'd help you. Oh, that's sweet, but Miriam tosses a handful of spices directly into your boiling noodles. Uh -huh. It's the secret ingredient! However, she doesn't know that you lied and the ingredient was made up. And where in the world did she get eye of Newt from? The boiling pot explodes, sending Miriam flying backwards. The watery noodles begin to swirl in the air, bubbling up into a dark cloud that thickens and congeals before your very eyes. Spork monster. It is I, Steve the Spork Monster. I hope you're the same Spork Monster from before. Steve? Wait, what happened to Borko? You're not here to battle me, are you? We Spork Monsters are many. I think Borko had the day off, but you have conjured Steve, and I hate to battle. So I'd say you're doing pretty all right. Dialogue. They're so great. Oh, hey, you're in the middle of a cooking competition. I love this stuff. It's better than TV. You crazy kids and your culinary skills really impress me. Mind if I hang out? I I'm sorry, Steve, but I'm kind of in the middle of something. Do you mind? Steve, the spork monster, notices that you've got the grimoire stashed beneath your cooking station. I see what you're up to. Crisscross some magical items and accidentally summon me, huh? Ha, <laughs> yeah, you guessed it, uh, sorta. If you're here, would you mind tossing some fresh noodles in a pot of salted water? I'd love to, I've always wanted to be a top chef, actually. You know, when I was just a little spork pup back in the old country. You can feel Spork Monster winding up to tell a very long and involved story. You don't know exactly where they ca came from, but it seems like it was probably lonely there. Actually, you know what? Maybe you should watch from the stands. I really need to focus on this competition. I understand. It's kind of like that time in monster school that I had fallen asleep during scare tactics class. And when I woke up, you toss a serious stare at Steve and he takes the hint. I am positive that the writers were like, hey, let's make this difficult for anybody who's streaming and talking out loud because they have like pop pie something, something, something and then serious stare at Steve. <laughs> They did that on purpose. Never mind. I'll tell you later. Good luck. Having suffered this huge setback, you don't know how you could ever win. Ugh, you summon extra power from deep within yourself or give up and drop out. Get that extra power going. I can do this. I have what it takes and I came here to win. Your hair turns mac and cheese orange as color culinary energy flows through your body. Nice. We're turning Super Saiyan, but culinary style. My heart is pure. My hands are steady. My taste buds have been preparing their entire lives for... Yes, Diesel, you are the chosen one. You will avenge me. The power you've been summoning immediately fades back out. <laughs> you interrupted my inspiring monologue! Sorry. <clears throat> My heart is pure. My hands are steady. My taste buds have been preparing their entire lives for this moment. I will show the world my cookery. You begin to levitate off the ground. Energy courses through your body. You know that with this power, you can do anything. Except turn back time, which would be super useful because while you were powering up, your chicken pot pie overcooked in the oven and cannot be served. But don't worry, dear Diesel. You may have suffered some setbacks, but all is not lost. Impressed with your fortitude, Colonel Sanders decides that you have earned his support. Uh, they keep showing up on the left. I'm gonna move my mini cam. <laughs> Sorry, guys! 
We're going over here now. Don't ignore my background. <laughs> I've been watching you today, and I must say, I'm truly impressed. You've been thinking on your feet and rolling with the punches. He steps up to your station and stands right beside you. I'm here to help! And all you've managed to make is mac and cheese, and time is almost up, so you're going to need it. But, Colonel Sanders, what about the test? What will happen to you? What about the rules? Following the rules has never really been my thing. I follow my heart. What a guy. <laughs> Colonel Sanders unfolds a delicate white towel to reveal the most delicious fried chicken tenders you've ever laid your eyes on. And besides, sometimes unexpected combinations can have surprising effects that surpass their individual efforts. Are you suggesting if we combine forces, we can form the perfect food union? <gasps> okay. Time's up, students. With time expired, it's the moment everyone has been waiting for. That, the music transition was a little bit jarring. You must now prepare to present your dishes. A handful of students stand tall, but the class seems incomplete. Sprinkles, it seems we're missing some students. Pop? Clank? From off screen, you hear a pure and innocent giggle that can only come from one student. <laughs> I'm flying! It sounds like it's coming from that broom closet over there. Uh, Miriam, would you mind? Inside of the closet, you see Pop hanging on a broom hook by the elastic of his underpants. Pop, get down from there right now! Uh, let me guess. Did Van Van have something to do with this? When someone- hey, when someone asks for a wedgie, who am I to refuse? Pop. I thought a wedgie was a salad! It looks like Pop is eliminated from the challenge, seeing how he didn't cook anything. I can't feel my legs. May I be excused? Sure. You kids and your pranks. I must say, it's not the worst prank in UCSAL history. But it's not exactly yearbook material. Wait a second, pranks. Pranks, clank! Where did that pressure cooker roll off to? You wait to hear a signature whir, beep, or other onomatopoeia, <laughs> but there's none. We had to murder him. Somehow, he must have gotten unplugged, I guess. We'll have to figure that out later. That leaves only four remaining students. Please collect your final projects. Oh god. <laughs> Hi, Commander! Thank you so much for the raid! <laughs> I did jump scare myself on accident. <laughs> How was your stream? How's it going? I don't know. Are mods here? Can you do a shout out? I don't want to do a shout out because then everyone's going to see my background. <laughs> and we'll get pulled out of game. Well, hello, everybody from Core Commander's side. <sighs> How's your night going? I'm Diesel. I don't normally play this game, but this is really fun. We're just about to wrap up the Colonel Sanders dating Hi, sim. <gasps> Thank you for the sub, Junichi. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mod Factorio. I feel like you were playing that last time too. I'll have to check that out. Oh my gosh, this is really cute. So um, I hope you're ready for some chaos and a lot of random happenings. This is Professor Dog. He's gonna wrap up our our a challenge here. And we failed to, we made mac and cheese and then the Colonel who is, mm, he's Colonel Sanders or Daddy Sanders, whichever you prefer. You know, it's a dating sim, being weird here. <laughs> and, but we combined our forces and I don't know what we created yet. So we're gonna find that out. But thank you guys for stopping in. I love you. Have you managed to date the colonel yet? We're taking it slow. That's what he decided. <laughs> is it finger licking? Bro, it is so finger licking good right now. Like just the most random stuff happens and it's been just fun this whole time. Like, I thought maybe it would get, like, boring at any point, and it has not. It's just been action, funny romance, cute romance, action. Just, the story is great, the art is great. You should play it. It's free. So, and also, I bought KFC, like, actual KFC, and I've been eating that. 
I do highly recommend that because holy crap, the food is so good looking in this game. Oh my gosh. It makes me, it made me hungry and I was eating the food while I could see it. So <laughs> yes, it has been a long semester. Also, it's only a three day semester. <laughs> <laughs> but I hope I feel like this raises my expectations for dating sims so I hope they're all like this it's really fun there's like action and battles and boss battles and stuff we'll have to see can't get enough popcorn chicken Dude, I think we went there to try to order popcorn chicken and they said they don't have it anymore which I'm really sad and they put like but it's, I got there like, I'll show you. I haven't actually eaten this one yet. The, the bowl, the mashed potato bowl. And it's like, is that not popcorn chicken on there? Like, I don't know what it is. I, it looks like popcorn chicken, but so maybe the lady lied to me. <laughs> I hope she did. Cause that, it still makes me very sad. <laughs> Damn, exactly. I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> but this is really fun. I love this game. Let's see what happens. Wow. Three whole days long for the semester. Also, I'm trying to do voices, but as you can imagine, my guy voices are not very good. And also, I might be losing my voice. <laughs> but after days of hard work, the time has come for me to eat. Yes. Let's see. Let's see if... Who wins? I don't know. Miriam, please step forward. Now, describe your dish. This is our best friend. She makes teeny tiny things. I have made tender udon noodles and savory soup in the palm of her hand. You win. That is so cool. Oh my god. With tiny chopsticks too? Where do you even get tiny chopsticks? Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. See what I mean? But all the food looks really good. My word! It's so delicate! Is that a teeny tiny Naruto Maki I spy afloat in this itsy bitsy bowl? I'm sure I said that wrong, <laughs> but I'm trying. Yes, chef! Please call me Sprinkles. Chef is my father's name. Oh, of course it is! <laughs> oh my god! Yes, Sprinkles! And some green tea made from baby tea leaves that I picked myself! Sprinkles carefully sniffs around the dish before opening his mouth and letting just the tip of his pink tongue dip into the bowl. Sublime! Would anyone else like to taste? Oh, come on. I'm not one of those dogs who doesn't floss. I even have a really cute electric toothbrush for dogs. Fine, I'll enjoy it all by myself. <laughs> it was so precious. And in a flash, the entire meal has been devoured. Not that it took much. It was less than a thimble's worth of soup. But still. A plus. Rarely do I taste a dish with as much love poured into it as yours. And Miriam is overjoyed. She gives you a huge hug. Thank you, Diesel, for helping me to believe in myself. Van Van, you're up. Now describe your dish. I made... Uni over... Wait. Uni over smooth egg custard in an axe-hewn urchin shell topped with caviar. I don't know why he's British now, but that's a thing. Uni. I thought it was going to be like unagi? That's uni over smooth egg custard in an axe-hewn urchin shell. I mean, that looks... That looks really cool. I would very carefully probably taste that. Did you skewer one type of urchin with spines from a second different colored type of urchin? That's going plus ultra. Yes, sprinkles. Uh, a bit much, don't you think? That's exactly why I did it. A bit much is my kind of brand. Doesn't it look cool? Sprinkles leans in to sniff the uni, but he can't get his nose close on account of all the spikes. He begins to paw at it erratically, causing the custard to slosh around. Woof, woof. Please, be gentle with my cuisine. Grrr. Finally, Sprinkles goes all in, tongue first, but he can't get past all the needles. He reels back as his tongue is poked and prodded. Youch, my tongue. The professor appears to be having an allergic reaction to the sting. 
No, he can't die too! Oh god. I can't eat this. It keeps fucking my tongue. That's qualified. <laughs> a stunning turn of events. Who would have thought that serving food in a bowl made of needles could make it difficult to eat? Dejected, Pan Pan does not go gentle into the night. Disqualified for glamour! Don't this count sympathy? <laughs> I don't know what he said. This isn't the last you've heard of me. Before forcing us to endure his swollen tongue for another moment, Sprinkles graciously laps up a bowl of milk. I know, I know. Yeah, I'm a dog and I drink milk. Get over it. Sometimes it helps calm my agitated tongue. Next student, Ashley. It's time to step up. Now describe your dish. I made orange blossom Turkish delights in a light rose water syrup topped with French meringue and connected by sugar glass. That is probably worth $200. I'm just saying. That actually doesn't sound too bad. Indeed, it's quite delightful. However, I'd ask that you please refrain from eating it or attempting to taste it in any way. It's very fragile and meant to be a display piece. Don't eat the food at a cooking school? Get got toast in your ear or something? I told you, it's a display piece. Uh, Ashley, I must say, it is beautiful. However, this is a cooking competition at a cooking school. Yeah, which is why I cooked it and did an extremely good job cooking it too. I didn't realize that we were having an eating exam. If I wanted to be judged on eating, I'd go to the College of Eating School for the Hungry. Mm. I suppose you could smell it if you absolutely insisted. But don't breathe too hard. You might disrupt the sugar spiral. If the food cannot be eaten, it cannot be judged. You are disqualified! Rage overtakes Ashley as she finally cannot keep her two-faced routine up. You wouldn't know high-end cuisine if it cooked you! And with that, Ashley storms off to rededicate herself to being the best, but this time without being shackled by trying to be fake nice and liked by everyone. Yeah, you go, Ashley! <laughs> I mean, it sounds like a win for her. She's not being fake anymore. I don't know. I feel like that she's okay now. She's turning a new corner, becoming a better person. Yeah. This isn't the last you've heard of me, either. If this class gets much smaller, I'll be teaching myself. You and Colonel Sanders, the final cooks, step up together. Of course we would. Two chefs? What began as a bowl of delicious mac and cheese has become something else. Oh, he says that. Oh. <gasps> He examines it closely, sniffing and eyeing the bowl. This looks like my mashed potato thing, but with mac and cheese. Should have been potatoes. Uh-oh. I don't have a good feeling about this. From somewhere in the room, a literal drum roll plays. Just when I thought I've seen everything in this kitchen, you give me this... this... thing... and completely blow me away. In my 49 dog years of life, I have never tasted anything so delicious and perfectly balanced. It's so delicious, in fact, that everyone passes the class. You pass, you pass, and you pass, and you get a pass. Everyone gathers around and partakes of the mac and cheese bowl. They all seem to transcend this reality into another dimension. You win. Together, you and Colonel Sanders have made a new menu item. The new menu item is so impressive. Even the Van Van and Ashley. He's the, he's the now, the fan. I'm sorry. Even the Van Van and Ashley are drawn back in by its magnetic fragrance. That was gonna say magnificent, not gonna lie. When they gaze upon your mac and cheese bowl, they admit that you're indeed an excellent chef. Sprinkles declares that you have passed. Everyone has passed. There were supposed to be more battles, but come on. <laughs> How could they be better than this one? Now that the school year is complete and everyone has graduated, the students return for one last assignment. To get their groove on. 
Oh, I thought disco music was gonna play. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Maybe this is the moment, you guys. We're gonna date Daddy C Daddy Sanders. I almost said Daddy Colonel. That's not. But anyway, the cafeteria has been completely redecorated in order to serve as the site of the school's graduation dance. Okay, yeah, I see it. I remember this place. Compared to the massive high-tech cooking arena, the humble decor seems downright cute and cozy. <laughs> DJ Dog is in the house. Awoo, awoo. <laughs> You knew that Sprinkles was a master chef, but also a world-renowned turntablist? Who says you can't teach an old dog new tricks? Van Van and Ashley tell everyone that they've committed themselves to righting the wrongs they did while they were the villains. Uh, <laughs> that's really awesome. For a moment, you actually believe them. Ah, oh, not another haunting. No ghosts allowed at graduation. It's clearly written in the school's bylaws. Student, uh, I was never actually a ghost. It was all a trick to get you to finally notice me. Oh, amusing. And now that everyone is together... It's the Spork Monster! He has totally mellowed out! Everyone, the Spork Monster is no more. From here out, I prefer that everyone refer to me by my new name. Party Monster! <laughs> no ghosts. It does kind of look like a sheet that was draped over him, but... I don't know, I thought maybe he was a ghost and died. <laughs> Student tries to finish what he had to say, but everyone is too wrapped up talking to Spork. I mean, sorry, Party Monster. Dejected, student walks off. Maybe things didn't work out for Miriam romantically, but she found the love in her cooking, and you know she's gonna do great. A red carpet rolls out across the ballroom, across the floor of the ballroom. There we go. It's like a Hollywood movie premiere. Who could command such an entrance? Who indeed? <laughs> it's Pop! Oh. Okay. Of course. He's arrived late to the dance, but apparently for good reason. Walking the carpet, you see perched atop his dirty chef's hat. A crown? What the fudge? I am also very confused. Welcome back, pup. I know you weren't able to complete the final exam and accept your diploma. So we had it mailed directly to your father. We figured it was the least we could do for the school's dean. Oh, now I get it. And we get a new wing on the school! <laughs> Not to mention the honor of educating the son of the Chancellor of such and such. The music at the dance is interrupted by the sound of sparking and electrical hissing. It's Clank! Who has arrived late to the dance as well. Clank, now that I have graduated, I can reveal my truth. Is he still talking? Okay, yeah, he is still talking. <gasps> Thank you for donating! But he's still doing the talking thing. I am Clank, and I am not of this earth. I am actually from a faraway planet in another dimension. What? Okay, I'm st I'm serious. I'm still serious, face. We're we're gonna get through this. <laughs> what? <laughs> I actually feel like I knew this the whole time. Now that I have learned the ways of your kind, I must return. Miriam, will you come with me? I don't know what to say. Besides, no, obviously. I have just begun to learn who I really am. This isn't the time for me to devote myself to figuring out who you are, Clank. You're blown away by Miriam's maturity. It's pretty clear she has managed to surpass you in that regard. Hey, bro. Do you have to... I didn't even die in your firing shots. Did I die? Is it going to be like, you die? Try again. Next screen. No, we're okay. I understand, kind of. Humans are weird. A portal opens up and Clank disappears through it. I feel like there needs to be a sound effect. Finally, Colonel Sanders arrives. There's cherry blossoms. What? You're not in a suit? Howdy, classmates. Just like the first day you met him, he has come prepared to feed the entire class. However, it's not enough to just give them a bucket of chicken. This time, it's a full meal! 
I didn't get to be the most famous chicken man in the history of chicken and man by not reminding people to go out and buy my chicken. Bro, way ahead of you. <laughs> oh my god. The end? I, I would be happy. That was pretty epic. No, it's not the end. As everyone feasts on their delicious chicken dinner, Daddy Sanders finds you sitting at the edge of the dance floor. Diesel, what are you doing sitting all alone? Oh, uh, you know, just waiting for the right person to ask me to dance. I wonder, might you tell me, what are the qualities that you would expect to find in such a lucky person? Off the top of my head? Oh, I don't know. A spicy musk, a tidy goatee, and a degree from the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning, just to name a few. It truly is my lucky day. Would you dance with me? Yes! Um, I would love to. Totally stay cool. As you glide across the dance floor, hand in hand with Colonel Sanders, the future stretches out in front of you. And once my 100th franchise is up and running, I'll be ready to take a day off, and I'll be so glad to spend it together with you, Diesel. What? <laughs> it's the 100th one? How sweet! We'll work together and play together! Colonel Sanders stops dead in his tracks. Work together? Well, um, I think this is something I'll just need to do by myself. What? But who will help you run your restaurants? I don't believe I need help. Besides, based on your time at school here, do you really think running restaurants is the best path forward? <laughs> Could it be? You found a love connection, but failed to earn colonel. God dang it, it's not colonel, it's colonel! Colonel Sanders' respect as a chef? That seems very likely. Can you live with only half of him? Will you be able to endure sharing him with his other love? The life of an entrepreneur? I, I suppose I could enroll at pastry school. Oh, my dear Diesel. I'm sure that you'll find your place eventually. And along the way, you'll have me by your side. The end. Wait, what? Um. <clears throat> what? I've failed? I pass failed? I think I'm afraid we need to use math. I don't know. That was I'm gonna say it. I, th I think we're friends. Now I don't know. That's a fun game though. I was a hundred percent with it the whole way until the very end when it's like, by the way, you still failed kinda. I got <laughs> I got the fry fry end though. <laughs> Dude, I'm super proud of you for that one. Yeah, a little bit heartbroken, not gonna lie. All of our dates got interrupted. I really just don't know if this is what dating sims are normally like. Yeah, I hope- did you guys have fun? Do you want some KFC? I'm gonna actually eat a bite of my potato bowl, which I kind of wanted my last thing to be. I wanted it to be potato bowl. But it's fine. Mm -mm -mm. Corn, potatoes, gravy, chicken. is is the freaking best. Mmm. It's still good, even though it's cold. I did kind of learn to to say colonel. God dang it. To say colonel instead of colonel. That's the thing. There is one other person live right now streaming this. <laughs> Let's go say hi. So good job, you guys. We found another, another game that's not super played a lot. But it's so cute. Totally worth it. And it's free. Maybe you'll make different choices, but you get to meet Professor Dog. I don't know who my favorite character was. I really do love Spork Monster. Do, 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 do. Is that gonna work? Yay. Let's go say hi, and thank you guys for hanging out with me. Not gonna kill the mood too much, but February 15th is when I lost Casey last year. So I'm gonna try and stay extra busy 
and just sort of distract myself because it still makes me really, really, really sad. I can't even, I haven't changed my stream the about page <laughs> because it talks about Casey and I'm like, ugh, dogs are incredible. We love them so much and it's really sucks to lose them. Yeah. Anyway, I love you guys. Have a great time. Not, you know, keep the happy vibe up. Let's stay happy. <laughs> and that's what Casey would want to. And I'll see you next time. Good night, darling. My voice hurts. I think it's from all the reading. Reading and the spork monster voice. I should have picked an easier one for the spork monster voice, but oh well. <laughs> <laughs>